Hello beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams and Vocal Splendor Studios and today I would like to talk to you about you should take voice lessons. Is this a compliment or is it an insult? So when someone says to you, you should take voice lessons, how do you feel about that? Do you feel insulted or do you feel scared or do you feel like you're not good enough or do you feel like you sing well enough? The thing about singing is that it is a discipline like an athletics and pro singers that sing on a high level are like trained athletes. Nobody goes to the Olympics and says, I'm self-taught runner, I'm a self-taught skier. Now there are those people that actually grow up in families where the parent is professional and they train their own kids. That's a different situation. But usually when we look at high level athletes, we assume that they've had years of training and coaching. So when we look at singers, whether they're in rock bands, pop singers, or on Broadway, to be honest, many of those people have had lessons as well. The thing is that in the pop music industry, which is a business and a market image, talking about lessons and vocal training is not considered sexy enough. It's more cooler for people to feel like they are discovered, they are naturals, you're not, buy their album because they are special and you are not. So there is this concept that lessons are for people who either are desperate or, I don't know, it's kind of bizarre and it's been going on for a long time. Now here's the thing, is for people that really want to build a career, especially actors that are going against other trained singers for parts in musical theater, it's really not good enough to just be good enough. That's where training comes into play. So my daughter Naomi is a theater arts major and she also has grown up with me hearing my students singing. She's gone to some students. She had a high school boy once. She went up to him. She thought he sounded good and said, hey, you sound good. You should take lessons. And he said, ouch. So in his mind, the fact that she said you should take lessons, he interpreted it as that he must be bad. He needs lessons to fix himself. Like either you're bad or you're good. And so if you're bad, you need lessons. That could be further from the truth because lessons are for everyone and they are customized to your level and where you want to go. So for a beginner, they're just learning how to sing in tune and how to breathe. Someone who is an intermediate level is learning how to be more consistent and for a professional, they are dealing with how to deal with the demands of a professional career. So different levels for everyone. For people that want to make a career as a performer, let me tell you straight. There are a lot of people that you will be auditioning with who've had many years of voice training. And they will be better than you, quite frankly. Now, not every role requires you have a fabulous voice. Many roles have character voices or the voice isn't quite as important but to be honest we really do need to have quality technique and the technique needs to be solid and you will be at a detriment if you are competing against people that have vocal training so if you are committed to a career as a pop singer or in musical theater don't mess around take lessons you don't need to commit to years and years of lessons. Sometimes just a few coachings will give you what you need. It really depends on you. But if you're investing in your career, don't take chances, get what you need. And if you don't get it in theater school, take it outside. It's never too late to take lessons. Taking lessons isn't an insult. It means that you care about your craft and you care about your consistency and you want to give everything you can to make a career as a singer. So there you go. Take lessons, don't take lessons. Tell me yourself down in the comments what works for you. What have you learned in lessons? How have you grown to the next level? And of course, it's all about finding the right teacher, right? Yes, and just so you know, I teach voice lessons in Seattle and also online at Skype. Finding the right teacher is key for you. So if you like what you hear, if you like what you're learning, please subscribe down below, click the bell so you get notified of more videos for you to help you sing better because when you sing better you feel better and you can go further in your goals as a singer. Alright, take care and have a great day.